Hi, Dr. Shazia. Hi, sir. Good evening. Very good evening to you. And let me share with you the inspiring story of Dr. Shazia, who despite facing all the setbacks and challenges, demonstrated extraordinary resilience and determination by successfully cracking this MRCT part one exam. And yes, that too on her sixth attempt. You heard it right. It's the sixth attempt. And uh, Dr. Shazia's journey is actually not an easy one, right? And from the beginning, as she shared with me that she faced quite uh, a good amount of hurdles and obstacles in between the path and encountered failures as well. That could have discouraged anyone, anyone, right? But still, she refused to give up. That is the best thing. She refused to give up on her dreams, which she had of becoming, becoming a physician, a good physician, and to grab this MRCP degree, right? And yes, here she is. Having that track, that exam MRC part one and not just cracking it, have gone through the another milestone of more than 650 marks and she scored 665. That's really awesome. Thank you, sir. So, so Dr. Shaji, I would like to know from your side, what, uh, what were the hurdles, what were the problems you encountered while going ahead with this journey? And uh, what about your failures? How Because uh, on YouTube, what we get is a rosy picture, right? It is quite easy. It is easy for everyone. And, and, and there, there are many, many opinions. But as a person, you have faced many failures, right? And, and you you are uh, here to, first of all, discuss about it and then to inspire others because I also got inspired by your journey that yes, uh, after getting so many problems and limitations and failures, still you were there that yes, you can do it. You believed in yourself, right? So kindly just uh, tell me as well and the, the audience who are listening to you that uh, what are the, uh, the problems you faced during this and whole your journey. Hi all, uh, myself Dr. Shazia. So uh, I am. Uh, I've completed my uh, medicine from uh, Amrita School of Medicine. I was in the batch uh, 2009. Uh, I completed it in the year 2015. And uh, post that, um, I had a break uh, with uh, my baby. So uh, uh, I, even though I had a baby, I was working as well. Uh, but, you know, in uh, normal emergency medicine as casualty mm. officer mm. and all that, mm. uh, because I thought uh, I required a break. But mm. then uh, while on the break, I uh, I realized that uh, that is not my space. Uh, I wanted to do more. I wanted to uh, pursue further in my studies. Mm. Uh, that's when I uh, started my uh, NEAT journey mm. uh, when my baby was five months old. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> so um, I started uh, NEET not with the um, aim of getting into any college for MD medicine, but I went for IMT, uh, internal medicine training by the Royal College of Physicians. Okay. So that was there in my own hometown. Uh, my husband actually introduced me to the course and we had plans of settling abroad, mm -hmm. uh, mainly UAE. So that was our plan. So okay. during that time, I was quite unaware about the MRCP and it's, you know, the journey, how difficult the journey would be. I was only focusing on the IMT course and I thought MRCP would be a cakewalk uh, during the course. I would just get the degree and, yeah. you know, fly to UAE. That was, you know, uh, but the reality was different. Um, I entered the course and uh, initially I was in the second batch of IMT medicine. Uh, so my seniors uh, told me that uh, you have to attend the first uh, uh, MRCP part one initially before the annual review of the first year. Mm -hmm. So uh, I attempted the uh, MRCP part one just like that without, yeah. you know, giving much thought just because I was, yeah, just for the sake of it. And also I thought, okay, I've just prepared NEET now. Mm -hmm. I've just completed the NEET coaching and all. And uh, I could qualify it uh, decently. So uh, then, yeah, I'll get through MRCP as well. Mm. Uh, but a story was different. Nobody got through the first attempt. And uh, that that day told me after the after failing the first attempt. Nobody gets, <laughs> nobody gets in after the first attempt. So because you just gave it for the sake of it, right? As an yeah, person, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't subscribe to any online question uh -huh. bank, nothing. Just gave it. Because uh, you have seen with our batch also, uh, so, so the students in our batch, uh, so I would uh, not name much, but yeah, Dr. Rishu Abhi recently, she just did her internship, right? And just after internship, that too, in her first attempt, she was able to, right? And may, there are many, many others, many others in the very first attempt. But the thing is, it's the right approach. 
but as you just said you just walked in the the exam hall so so that just to exactly. see of it ki chalo dekh dekhte hain how is it had fun with friends yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i ate good food and came back <laughs> um, and not uh, not tensed about the exam results exam nothing result. uh, mm-hmm. because that was just essential part of the course i gave it mm-hmm. and uh, वैसे तो everyone said you have six attempts you have more attempts uh, you mm-hmm. have enough attempts to crack and mm-hmm. if it doesn't happen in the first attempt you will crack in the second attempt mm-hmm. that's what people you know told me so mm-hmm. i obviously when, believed in that and i went ahead with my course initially you think of that the, the, the there is no relevance there is no significance let's let, if let's say we fail so it doesn't matter but once the result come and that is not in our favor it is a negative result then it actually uh, impacts us right it impacts negatively on our confidence you you mm. tend to have that negative con- uh, confidence in yourself you tend to have that self doubt that whether am i good enough for for this particular exam or am i uh not good enough for to be a physician or to grab this degree so thoda sa it gives a negative impact right 3 396 was my score sir yes, without definitely. any question bank or anything just going like that mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, that time only i realized okay 520 was the in 2019 520 something was 526 was the uh, qualifying marks Mm. so then again people told okay if you have scored 396 without uh, mm-hmm. anything then next time you can definitely so then there was a confusion first thing i heard about past this question bank uh, so then i subscribed to past this question bank but i never understood how to study with past this mm-hmm. question bank mm-hmm. exactly. uh, it exactly. found i was finding it really difficult and then again somebody introduced me to past medicine mm-hmm. uh, but that had to happen later um mm. then uh, 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 the second attempt also didn't happen but i crossed 400 so again okay. next milestone happened <laughs> okay okay uh then i was like okay but uh, the uh, the preparation was not happening as it is supposed to happen okay. because of the hectic duties of course yeah. uh yeah. it was during the covid time and we had tedious duties we had to stay in hospital for the duties for like 10 days together and then yeah. all of that was Uh, but we still had our exams to clear uh, again there was pressure from every side you have to clear the part one only then something else can happen so before the second review you have to complete the imt course was changing everything was there so then uh, out of pressure we were forced to give few attempts mm-hmm. so then there was this online exam came up because of covid uh, we had the option of giving online exam as well mm-hmm. uh, so i gave two online uh, attempts um uh with my family's confidence in me uh, they were like you will do it anyways uh, uh, they have never seen me failing even i have never seen me failing okay. uh, i've always had uh, top marks i've always been in the toppers list everything was there uh, so i never doubted my capabilities there so i was like okay but so i failed to like yeah. the kind of preparation required for this exam Hmm. it is not about how much you scored in your 10th 12th or exactly. in your mbbs exactly. it's not how much, how well you performed in your clinics exactly. it is about the mcq exam it is about mrcp exactly. and that was a late realization <laughs> and uh, i took some time to realize that that mrcp requires to study for mrcp not medicine but it requires you to study mrcp <laughs> which is different exactly uh, i realize the pattern of mrcp question and then uh, and it's, there it's quite vast if we talk about medicine it's quite vast it is difficult to have everything at the place right so you need to select which is to be read for mrcp because there are certain patterns either for usmle or plab or mrcp or neat pg so you need to respect that right what are the patterns they are following what are the kind of questions they have so uske accordingly you need to prepare it's not like a pura medicine just take harris and just keep on going it is not it is not possible for any competitive exam right yes it can help you in your subjective thing but if if we talk about the competitive exam having a mcq you need to know specific thing that yes these are the things which you need to concentrate upon right mm-hmm. So, so then slowly i started recognizing the pattern of mrcp i subscribed to and i understood i am more comfortable with past medicine so mm-hmm. then i started doing past medicine question but not at a pace which you are expected to and i could never complete the question banks before the exam uh, mm-hmm. i could never complete the question banks for the third and fourth attempt 
forget mm. about revising i never completed the question marks mm. so my third and fourth attempt marks were almost similar so i understood okay you are going wrong again okay mm. you are just simply wasting money okay mm. it, it was all hard hit realities for me okay you're just simply wasting money for and somebody... also getting that setback because huh. after getting a negative result you get that setback right that yes so uh, like you get the result today i fail and i go into depression no it was a slow hit it's like a slow poison okay <laughs> something is going bad with you okay you need to realize the realities and go yes. ahead yes so yes. i understood okay i i went through lot of google everything okay what is good so everybody was uh, repeatedly mentioning revision okay mm. Mm. Uh, revision the key revision is the key revision is the key so mm. i was always a last minute study type okay i always study everything in the last minute photographic go dump it okay mm. i always pass my even my mbbs exams okay most of it i could pass like that so i had that fake confidence in myself uh, i could i i will do it but uh, things had to be changed my pattern had to be changed uh, so then i st started taking it uh, seriously i started taking revision seriously i understood i have to revise it i have to complete the question bank i have to complete 4000 question then i have to revise it and then only go for exam so people were like if you had in done the past medicine three times don't go for the exam okay mm -hmm. these things slowly started making sense for me okay you have to revise it properly mm. but by that time i was already drained mm. by, by that time i was already drained i had already completed my four attempts then mm. i realized i have only two more attempts i have already completed my course as well so now things has to be on track but i couldn't put myself up i was i was actually very drained i was depressed i, I wouldn't say depression but uh, i it was more of anxiety because yes. of anxiety you're not able to do anything and you're stuck somewhere okay mm. i actually went through that you're stuck somewhere mm. you are so uh, worried seeing your mrcp books you're so worried seeing your notes okay uh, why i am not getting through this so i was at such a point where i was desperately looking for somebody who could guide me to mm. you know uh, crack this exam mm. that's how i found sir Mm -hmm. i think i found sir through instagram because okay. in every platform i was uh, desperately putting mrcp part one okay. and somehow okay. i found sir so so you found me on instagram although majority yeah. of my uh, my students in the in my batch in the previous batch majority i would say 90% are the youtube viewers so mainly they come from youtube after watching my videos on youtube very few just 10% and you are one of them very few they come from instagram because i'm not that active on instagram although yes now right now currently i'm active i'm uploading questions and all those things but previously i was not that active but yes uh, it came to you on instagram because i was not in the mental state to you know work properly also so uh, my only aim was somehow i need to crack this and everybody kept on telling you can do it my husband kept on telling you can do it i know you are capable of it but that self doubt has already happened it is difficult to come out of that somebody who has gone, gone through it will understand how much ever you say mm -hmm. once you have got into that you know uh, that trap it is difficult to uh, get yourself up yeah. uh, you know into the study mm -hmm. mode so i found sir i called him right away i called him i told him okay sir i've lost so many attempts i don't know what to do so he said i'll be there with you uh, don't worry i'll be there with you till you pass the exam yeah. i only heard that i only okay. heard that i i uh, took his course right away i didn't uh, research on who chirag sir is nothing i i felt that confidence in him while talking to him first time i felt that confidence i felt i got a mentor okay mm -hmm. uh, i was not ready to uh, you know uh, drown uh, myself i was not ready to i wanted i wanted i knew what i wanted so i got hold of sir's hand and i started <laughs> swimming that's what happened actually mm -hmm. and, then, and uh, uh, the best part is that 
uh, sir structured course it was a very structured course uh, even before the course started i was texting him sir what should i do now i am sitting simply should i start reading uh, so sir was like you can simply start reading but uh, everything will be on track once the course starts uh, mm -hmm. so like what should i read now sir i was so anxious okay what am i doing i was so anxious i was uh, telling him what should i read now sir how should i read now sir and then sir gave me all the timetable and uh, from then i decided i am not going to uh, put myself in a, a negative situation i'll read whatever he says i'll read whenever he says and then he gave me the timetable and i made sure um, i completed the question bank prior to the classes mm -hmm. and i attended all the sessions uh, you know <laughs> very punctually i attended all the sessions even if i am traveling wherever i am i made sure i attend yes. the classes yes. and more credit goes to my family who encouraged me to i told them exactly. i am with her exactly. now so okay. even they had their trust okay uh, even though she is having a very bad mental uh, state yes. Uh, yes. somebody yes. will help her you know yes. so they had that trust and they were always pushing me to attend classes they were like uh, uh, class le uh, in malayalam they say class le who is you know we look after the child go sit for the classes <laughs> so everybody was so supportive, supportive. my husband yeah. my parents everybody was so supportive mm -hmm. uh, so during that two hours two and a half hours of classes i was totally into you know learning uh, because uh -huh. i knew i had auditory learning also so uh, i made sure i listened to the classes and and you were the one sure I... almost uh, in every other session you were present and also giving the responses whether it is correct or not but yes you were there with your responses so th this is the kind of interaction you have in the live sessions and this is the benefit you have the recorded videos all over, right? Now we have the Google, we have YouTube, we have Insta, TikTok and all those things. So we have many, many uh, videos available on the internet. But yes, the thing is in live sessions, what you can do is you can interact and you can get to know where are you in, in front of the other people in a group that yes, if the other person is answering, why not you? Why not you are able to recall that particular thing which you just read seven days or 10 days back, right? So it gives a sense of competition also and a motivation, I would say. Right, so it is upon a person. Yeah, it is like during during this sort of competitive exam preparation, you cannot be, uh, you know, true to yourself every day, saying that you are fully confident in preparing. You will have ups and downs. So, but the uh, the best thing with classes is that even during your down down times, if you uh, just listen to your class, the things slowly start falling in place. You know, uh, even if you are not feeling okay to study during a particular day. Uh, and you, uh, you have a class with sir then uh, you just put on the speaker you start listening subconsciously you're learning something you're slowly into trying and that night you will study for sure mm -hmm. you know that okay. that sort of uh, virtual energy is passed in the classes mm -hmm. so okay. that was really if I, if I talk about we have the live sessions right we have the mock sessions every week of of that same unit which we have covered in the previous week so mock test and then we have the grand mock test and then we have the revision session and then according to you which one was the best one i think everything is required like while being attached to your course you have to religiously follow that um, mm -hmm. and you will get the benefits of it initially even if you have no idea with what mrcp is you will take it from you take us through the journey like from the preparation till the mock test till you pass the exam so everything is done at the right time so i don't think you should skip any part um <laughs> even a mock test also you you do it prior to the exam uh, much prior to the exam so that uh, you are put into such a situation, you will understand your weak points, you understand okay. your strengths. Exactly. And uh, the most important days of your exam is exclusively put for uh, structured revision. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, even last mock also, I, I couldn't attend the mock, but I made sure I sit for the discussion. So I, I sat for the whole of discussion. I made notes. I made notes on where... Uh, which all things I, I haven't heard about. Till grand now. mock. You're talking and about the, grand mock. The grand mock, which you had. April, 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 we had that. Right? And, and uh, the session yeah. went up for 4 or 4.5 hours. Yes, yes. I was there for the whole whole discussion. Okay. I was there with my headset. So, okay. uh, 
so uh, these things we have to take effort nothing is given freely nothing nobody gives you nothing freely you have to take the effort and you have exactly. to be in that situation you have to be exactly. ready to face it exactly um, so that is quite awesome i mean the journey you had the obstacle obviously uh, the work pressure and your child at your home right obviously he <laughs> needs attention hai na uh, so, so having he, he home... was the happiest because he was the happiest uh, seeing me pass because he gets a happy mom you uh, know uh, and i i have that i i uh, if i share with the others that yes uh, you shared one picture of yourself that was actually priceless when uh, you got that result and you were crying and have the mobile in your hand so that yeah. is your priceless feeling and the priceless priceless moment so so mm. that was uh, pretty good i can just imagine that after having so many issues so many obstacles so many failures if you were able to crack it and that to not just crack it having such a scoring such a good marks so mm-hmm. alag you you might be happy i mean that was the best day of your life oh it was it was one of the best precious days of my life uh, that uh, they have not even uh, you know how much ever you try to fake happiness you know exactly one there is something which is just stuck in your mind forever it is difficult to enjoy any moment fully exactly. unless exactly. you get what you want exactly. so that was one moment i got what i want and uh, what everybody wanted because we are just not part our dreams are not our dreams only it is exactly. just we are living part of everybody oh, everyone yeah, yeah 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 so uh, when i saw, when, that moment is priceless like um, i could actually be happy after very long uh, because yeah. i can't imagine i started this journey in 2019 being clueless of where i am and now uh, very mm-hmm. sure of how the mrcp exams are and now i know what I, because i have evolved so much as mm-hmm. a uh, as a human being as a doctor i have evolved so much uh, yeah. that uh, i don't regret the attempts uh, it it has yeah. made me a better person <laughs> great 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 so it was actually a good inspiring story for me first of all and then for the others as well that yes if you have that determination first of all and you have a good input good hard work it's not just the determination you need to put in that effort and then the third comes is obviously your luck factor right so everything if put in with a with a good amount of efforts with good amount of thinking everything with a good amount of strategy then yes you would be able to clear it and then it seems easy that yes this path is easy this exam was easy right yeah. so and uh, and you have to formulate your own way of studying or yeah. understanding every so concept that is different even, for, if, you know, yeah. even if there is a teacher teaching you you have to understand that particular concept in your own way yes only that yes. will be helpful for the exam because in exactly. exam each question you don't have much time exactly okay so uh, the concepts has to come uh, the concepts has to be there within you for exactly. that you exactly. have to take effort to understand the concepts and uh, chiraksa's face will come during the exam several times okay <laughs> this mnemonic this mnemonic this mnemonic uh, uh-huh. it, and the mnemonics help also the mnemonics are not very weird like you see uh, elsewhere the mnemonics are really good uh, the bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy the two uh, heavy shadows <laughs> so all of that it just comes to you so don't worry just um, you know blindly follow what, what he says uh, do not skip anything what he says just trust him and put in your effort that is very much required you have to put in your effort you have to sit and understand the concepts you have to sit and solve question you have to sit and revise these things are uh, cannot be replaced yes okay? yes you have but, to put in your effort but but you dr. can chirag be doesn't have a tonic huh? <laughs> dr chirag doesn't have a tonic he has a good no. pdf yes concise pdf but no tonic so you have to yourself sit and do you the can print out sirs you can print out sirs uh, pdfs you can make your own notes in that you can attach it and you can create it your own uh, notes are there with you always and then just go through it again and again and again or it depends on every uh, each person some people just need to read it once some people just need re- needed to revise twice or thrice so it depends on each person exactly. so you cannot say 
okay these many times if you revise exactly. past medicine exactly. you will pass you can't. Oh. yes 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 very uh, you have to you, my uh, my standard uh, things was past medicine and past papers past papers i realize it is important only in the uh, the last attempt because i never went through past papers yes, those like are that also before. equally important because we need to know what is there in the previous year which we they, which they have asked because the yeah. questions are not replicated they are not the exact ones yeah. but yes uh, what you need to know is these are the because the kind of topic. questions you see in the real exam you will only get if you just go through the past papers exactly you won't get that from that. past medicine or anywhere yes, yes. Uh, so that is also important past medicine is also important revision is important trust is important i don't know how many <laughs> things i should say but <laughs> believe in yourself is important everything great. is important great great, great. Luck is important but that is only very minute the percentage. sprinkling of luck yeah so on a, on a background of good hard work and determination there is you need a sprinkling of luck as well yeah yes so that was quite amazing quite interesting and uh, i also enjoyed the session listening to your story your struggle although we had a good amount of discussion previous to this but yes still again listening to it again and again again it gives me that motivation and that inspiration yeah, never never give up go till your sixth attempt if yes. you get a seventh attempt go do that also you will pass if you are uh, if you really dream I about it you give six attempts the maximum of the six attempts which you have done actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so so that was quite good thank you so much dr shazia for sparing your time and inspiring me as well as the other audiences which i guess yes majority of them can relate and can get inspired by your story yes okay thank you so much i'll be happy if i could if i'll yeah. be happy if i could be of even one person inspiration to anybody because uh, it it was a tough journey but a worth journey it great. is really worth great 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 okay and bye thank bye. you bye. thank you sir thank you sir for putting me on to the right track at the right time i'll be most forever welcome. grateful to you sir <laughs> most welcome most welcome i'll be always there for you for all my students who were in the group and and the the, the ones who i am totally related related to because uh, some are the people where we get a friendly relationship like as with you right so we we usually talk on the separate phone calls on our separate messages and others uh, let's say they are somewhat depressed they are sad about something in their life then yes i used to call them even at 2 am in the night so thoda sa na then you have that kind of good friendly relationship So obviously I'm because uh, you don't know how much your calls uh, mean to us even maybe 3 days before the exam you just call randomly and make our days so much better because and after the exam right after the exam you remember all of us and call us and just you know inquire about our exams it it means a lot uh, maybe you are you are just doing it as how you are but it means a lot to people uh, especially like me who have been in the you know bottom level and then came like this always so there. you are a major so part i'm i'll be always grateful thank you so much dr shadia for that and uh, so i'll end this session this inspiring story over here right and uh, thanks again for sparing your time and inspiring all of us okay sure, sir. thank you Take bye care. sir bye.